Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're gonna be testing out the Move AI iPhone beta program. Now, I have four iPhone 8s that I bought used and refurbished online, which ran about $150 to $180 per phone. And I have them on cheap tripods right now, surrounding me pretty much in this kind of setup right now per the layout online. I'm gonna try this out. Okay, so real quick, before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect all four phones into one iPhone X. Okay, so basically once you open the Move AI app, you're gonna go ahead and host the session, select iPhone 8, and then for this, we're gonna do HD 60 frames per second. And in this right now, what I'm gonna do is go to the other iPhone 8s and just click on join session. So once all four devices are connected, I'm gonna go ahead and title my session. And now we're gonna be able to see all of the cameras using our iPhone X master controller, which is pretty darn cool. So now that we connected all four phones into our master controller here, I can now record our first calibration. So what I'm gonna do, put my phone down, and then use a clapper board here so it's a little bit louder. I have a clapper board right here because there is AC going as you can probably hear it right now. I don't want it to mess up the syncing. So I got this right here so it's a little bit louder. All right, so let's go ahead and press record. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press stop. And then what I'll do after that is I will click on new scene and I'll just title this scene one. And now we're ready to record our take, All right? So I'm gonna go record a take real quick. I'm gonna press the record button. I'm gonna have my clapper board again. And now I have this plastic gun that I have. I'm just gonna use it as a prop. And then we'll do some motion here. Okay, and I'm just gonna let this run, do some jog. All right, cool. And then I have a baseball bat here that I'm just gonna try to kind of carry around. And hopefully we'll still re we're kind of still recording. It looks like we're still are, so that's good. Well, that's a terrible swing, but you gotta get the point. So let's say we're playing baseball. So I know people are getting tired of just dancing. Oh man, I haven't swung a baseball in a long time. So we'll go ahead and call that our take. And I'm gonna do another take. There's our T-post. And what I'm gonna do now is just pretend like I'm rapping. Some of y'all wanted some rap mocap. So I'm gonna pretend this is the microphone here and we'll just start. I'm moving my hands a lot, kind of moving around the volume here so you can kind of see the foot contact. Let me maybe even turn around 
and then we can go back at it. It's kind of nice overcast right now too. So hopefully this works. Come back and then call it a day. All right. So after that's done, we're gonna go ahead and say finish recording and then finish session. And what that's gonna happen now is if I press upload all, this is now gonna upload all of the files that we just downloaded all up in the Move AI system. I don't have to copy and paste. I don't have to pretty much copy and paste. I don't have to rename files. None of that is gonna be uploaded straight to the Move AI system for me to take a look at later. Now, obviously when you're doing this, don't move your cameras or your phones, leave them where they are right now. And you're gonna see the progress bar on our iPhone X here as well. Okay, so here we are in the Move AI dashboard. I'll go ahead and select session because this is the one we recorded today. And title is sixth, go ahead. And after that, I'm gonna scroll down just to make sure all our videos are in there. See calibration one, two, three, and take one. We recorded one calibration and three takes. So we'll make sure we have four files in each camera. As you can see, they're all good to go. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go to calibration. And I'll go to calibration one, take one, because we need to find out when the first clap is and the last clap is. So let's go ahead and press play. Okay, so the first clap was seven and the last clap was eight. And then additionally, I'm gonna go ahead and find out when I started the calibration right here, 10. Okay, and then it ended, now let's say it ended about 40 seconds, so, or 39, so let's go with that. So I'll go to camera two, I'll go calibration take one, calibration take one, and then calibration take one. Click save, and you can see all the calibrations are good. Press OK, and we'll just title this 27 calibration. Actual profile, I already preloaded one. JBRO, 1.62 meters. And then for the first clap, zero minutes, zero seven seconds, zero minutes, zero eight seconds. And then for the calibration time, it's zero minutes, 10 seconds, and then last zero minutes, 39 seconds. After that, let's go ahead and click save and run. And this is gonna be processing that, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so the calibration is finished. As you can see right here, the status is good. Calibration quality is excellent. Now what I'm going to do is process the takes, really. So I'm gonna press take right here, and let's go look at scene take one. And again, we have to find out when the clap starts and ends. So let's press play. So that's like six, seven, six to seven. And then the take we will run from eight to to 25. Okay, so that's ta uh, take one. So click on take one there, take one here, take one here, and then again, take one here. Press save. So we messed up on the third one. So that's pretty good. I love it because it actually shows me what I'm selecting here afterwards. That's really nice. Press OK. And we're just going to go ahead and name this scene one. Take one. Okay, one actor in there. I'm not going to use any prop. So zero minutes, zero six, zero minutes, zero seven, zero eight, oh, zero, zero eight, one, I think it was 39 or something like that, or maybe 138. Okay, so six, seven, eight seconds to a minute 38. We don't care about security. Press save. Okay, so here is the rig. We're gonna have fingers off because again, I'm gonna add the fingers later. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and retarget this to a UE4 mannequin V3. And then I'm going to run. And what I'll do now is I'll process the rest that it takes so we can all kind of just make it load and they're all gonna get finished all at the same time. Okay, so we are back in Move AI dashboard. And as you can see, we have all of our takes already good to go. Let's go ahead and take our take three. I actually like this one. So let's go ahead and download that. And let's just go to download FBX retargeted. And then what we'll do is import this directly in Unreal. So in here, in the Unreal Engine 5, I believe I already have a UE4 mannequin here. So I just type in UE4. Yep, there's already a UE4 mannequin right here. So I can actually import it in here directly and just use that skeleton. So I'll create a folder here called Move Tut. And I'll drag and drop that. And then I'll just type in UE4 mannequin right here, SK mannequin. 60 import animation and then just import all. All right, so I'll press clear. Okay. And I'll double click this animation now. Let's go ahead, fix this. Two, three, clap. Here's the T post. That's where it kind of settles. And then I'm gonna grab the microphone. Oh, I guess this is the microphone one. My bad. Okay. So what we'll do now is retarget that. Like I've mentioned in the past, the new meta humans now have an IK rig already pre-made. So if we go to meta humans, common, common, you're gonna see that there is now a RTG meta human, an IK meta human already pre-made in the comments folder. So that's very good. So if I go to content, there's already a retargeter here as well. So I'll just go to Adam retargeter. You're gonna see that we have a retarget UE4 Manny to UE5 Manny. So double click that. All right, so we have the IK for the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin already. And honestly, I can actually just go straight to a meta human IK. And then if I go to the take three version two, you're now going to see that being retargeted. All right. And remember, as you all saw in my previous video, we have to fix that because they have some metacarpal bones there that we're actually going to remove. Just like so. None. Left, left, left. There it is. Left index. There you go. All right, so press play. And now it's gonna do its thing. Let me grab the mic. He's gonna start rapping. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Asset Browser and Export Selected Animation. And I created a new folder here called Move Tut. We will just take it there. It is now going to retarget that, save, and minimize. That's going to compress the animation, which is cool. Now, additionally, if you want to, you can also retarget here by just going right click, retarget animation assets duplicate, kind of like the same way we used to do. For the IK retargeter, we can go UE4 mannequin to this same exact thing and we could have done that the same way here i just like doing it in the new window because i get a little bit more options so to test this out we're going to add a new level sequence and we're going to have my vtuber max here with his new outfit looking spiffy and i'll go to body and i'll track animation and now you're going to see that take three is going to be here so in the body here, I'll just change this to asset. And now you're gonna see he's gonna be moving around. So here's the clap, here's the T-pose, and this is when we're going to start, All right? So I'll just rotate him so he's facing the correct way. Like so, so it can be facing this way. He is rippity rap. He presses C right here, so. Okay, so he's floating a little bit, so they're like, like in the 10. There you go. Now I'll make this bigger. Freaking cool. So it should start about right here after the T-Pose. After he grabs the mic. Sick. That's freaking cool. Now obviously if you have a problem with that again, 
usually for me, I'm going to take this animation into an uh, iClone. Um, but if you don't have iClone, you can always just change the data right here. So if I move right here, I can actually move that. Looks like it's right so that it's a little bit down a little bit. Okay, and if I just key that out, that's going to key it for the entire time. And again, I don't edit. I don't edit here. And I'll press save and then reimport animation. I don't edit here. I edit in iClone. Um, but if you don't have iClone, you can edit stuff here as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know that was super, super long. But I just wanted to give you all an overview on how this new iPhone beta program is going to work as of right now. I'm going to be making more videos on this, obviously, more tests that I'm going to be doing, uh, pretty much walking you through all the process again. All right, if y'all have any questions, let me know. And like always, thanks for watching.